So I've come out this afternoon onto my local estuary to do a little bit of fly fishing, primarily for dusky flathead. I've got a six weight outfit here, a 10 foot long six weight rod and a sinking line. And I've got a fly here that was, uh, was tied by a mate of mine up in Queensland, a guy by the name of Keith Day, who's a very good fly fisherman. It's a nice uh, prawn pattern and I particularly like these little sprags of nylon here that make it sit up on the bottom. So let's see if we can catch one on Keith's prawn. I'm sitting in about uh, just over two metres of water here and probably casting into about one and a half to 1.8 metres of water, which is why I've gone for the sinking line. There's a couple of different options for fishing this kind of water. You can fish a floating line and a very long leader, or you can go a shorter leader and a sinking line. To be honest with you, I don't use sinking lines a heck of a lot. I much prefer floating or intermediate lines, but I thought I'd give the, the sinking line a go today. I'm just using the electric motor to basically hold myself in position here, but in a minute I'm going to um, shut it down and just allow the boat to drift back with the last of the outgoing tide. Always a good tide for the flathead. In fact, I think I'll do that now. <coughs> All right, killed the electric. The boat will start slowly drifting downstream. It's a calm, overcast autumn afternoon with the air temperature in the high teens and the water about 17 or 18 degrees. I give the fly quite a bit of time to get down. I want it down either on the bottom or certainly within about 30 centimetres of the bottom throughout most of the retrieve and the sinking line should be helping with that. Mix the retrieve up a little bit, short sharp strips, longer ones, just keep that fly moving along down there in that layer just above the bottom. I'm dropping the retrieved line as neatly as possible between my feet. If it was windy, I'd probably feed it into a tub or a basket. <laughs> That's not really an issue today. That's a better cast. Give a bit of water. I glance at the sounder occasionally to make sure I'm still in that two to three metre depth range. I reckon it's only a matter of time before I cross paths with a hungry fish. I'm reasonably confident and for that reason I concentrate on every retrieve, building in the occasional pause to get the fly back onto the riverbed. Oh, there's one. Hmm. Not real big, but it's a start. It shows that I'm getting the fly down into the right zone. He might be a little bit better than I thought. <laughs> oh, he's only a little fella. Fly is an incredibly effective way of catching flathead. As long as you can get it down into their strike zone, you're going to catch them. Definitely undersized. Little, probably 33 centimetre dusky flathead. <laughs> There's Keith's fly, well and truly nailed that. It's a really good little prawn imitation. Got to be really careful of their spines here on the gill covers. That's come out beautifully. You can go back in the water. There's some more grub. All right. Well, we're doing the right thing. Reasonably confident. If I keep doing this, we get a couple of better fish. It's important in saltwater fly fishing when you get a strike, don't lift the rod, don't do a trout strike. Actually set the hook by stripping, pull the hook into the fish and then lift the rod. A lot of uh, people who make the changeover from freshwater fly fishing for trout get that wrong. You need to lift the rod on light tippets and little tiny flies when you're fishing for trout but for salt water you want a little bit more power on that hook set and a strip strike like that is the best way to do it. Hmm. 
tide's still running quite hard. There's a fair tidal lag here. In other words, the current continues flowing seaward well after the time listed for low tide in the charts. It's important to observe stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, that's got a bit of weight too. He's coming straight towards me. <laughs> He's coming out of the shallow water towards me. It feels like it's got a little bit of weight there. Might be a keeper. Oh. Oh yeah, it's staying down. Oh yeah, that's a nice flatty. Oh. That one's coming home for dinner if I get it. Yes! Okay. Ooh. That's a nice flathead. And there's Keith's fly. Good stuff. It's pretty well hooked. Oh, he's going to kick. Sometimes if you just squeeze them like that, it'll stay nice and still. It's got to be close to 50 centimetres long, I reckon. Pretty happy with that. There you go. Got to love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> I really enjoy eating fresh flatties in the 40 to 55 centimetre range, so that's my dinner taken care of. <laughs> Tight lines.